Good morning, folks. This is George DeCamp coming to you from Brook Green Gardens. I'm with Ann Malarich, who is on the video camera. And we're at the Low Country Center today doing another video tip uh, class here. It's called Brook Green Gardens Master Photography Tips. And we're going to be doing a series of these uh, from time to time. And hopefully you'll enjoy them and it'll uh, improve your photography. Okay, so what I'm going to be using today is a handheld Nikon D850 and a 500 millimeter PF lens, which is a 3.2 pound lens, which is nice and easy to move around. And we're going to set our shutter speed up over one to two thousandths of a second so we can freeze the action. Um, it's preferable to go higher than that. So we're going to get up as high as we can probably one to 32 hundredth of a second. Then we're going to open our aperture to about f8 so that we get a little bit more depth of field and a little bit more sharpness because he's going to be running around a lot. And then we're going to use matrix metering because we'll be all over these, these uh, autumn sages is what they are, little red flowers here. And they might duck inside a little bit um, so we're going to have a little bit more depth of field to play with and we're going to be on auto ISO so that just in case it gets in a darker spot the ISO will bump up a little bit to give us a little bit more light. The find here is going to be a ruby throat hummingbird. Now these little buggers wings move at 70 beats per second so if you want to freeze the action you have to kick that shutter speed up like I mentioned earlier. So we're going to be up around, like I said, around 1 to 3200. Um, their, wing, their wings, like I said, they're, they're 70 beats per second. They, they fly at about 35 miles an hour. So they're quick little things. And they feed every like 15 to 20 minutes. So if we don't get a shot right away when they land, they'll be back in 15 to 20 minutes. Just give them a little time. The one thing that you're going to hear maybe is um, the, the way they got their name is their wings flap so fast it creates a hum. That's how they got their name Hummingbirds. So like I said, I'm using a D850 here today, but I also have with me a crop sensor camera, which reduces the size of the frame to about half of what this is. So you can get a closer perspective of the bird even it makes it look like you're closer we actually not you could crop this but you can use this camera and it'll automatically have that crop in there for you and this is a d500 by the way a nikon d500 it's 10 frames per second so it really helps and you and you need you need the fast uh, frame rate to get these things uh in sharp and in focus and in weight because they move so quickly you want to take as many shots as you can and then you pick the best one one thing I wanted to mention is that when you do hummingbird photography, it's always best to use real flowers if you can and have that um, hummingbird come on up to the flower. You can put a little sugar water in there to, to make them stay a little bit longer, but it's always a prettier shot when you have that as opposed to using a feeder. Once again, at the end of this video, you're going to see the name Vicki Richardson with her email address. Vicki is the coordinator of the outreach program here at Brook Green Gardens. And if you have any suggestions or any comments that you would like to make, please email her and let her know. If you have any ideas for any future episodes, please let her know that also. Well, thank you for watching today, and I hope you enjoyed it.